Hey everybody, this is Sean. In today's video, I'll be taking you through creating a pre-launch campaign analysis using Adobe Analytics. So in today's video, we will be determining when you conduct a pre-launch analysis. We will describe the basic components of this analysis, and then we explain the goals of the pre-launch analysis. So what is a pre-launch analysis? Basically, what we want to do with a pre-launch analysis, this is the first stage before we launch any marketing campaign through the Ad Cloud. We want to take a look at Adobe Analytics and see the, all the historical trends. There's a lot of data within Adobe Analytics. So before we launch a campaign, we want to get a feel for what the prior trends are. We want to determine our metrics, our main KPI. So maybe within this analysis, we know what our KPI is, but we might find there are secondary KPIs we want to strive to achieve. We want to look at the monthly, yearly changes that this KPI is seeing. And then we start to segment data. We want to start to see what our visitation rates look like. So we can either use those for retargeting or get a feel for how people are entering our site. So with this analysis, as you can see here on the right, an example of what this analysis might look like, we want to just get clear indicators for what's available in Adobe Analytics. So I want to take a look at my first part of retargeting pools. I want to see the trends year over year so that when I revisit this report, when my campaign's concluded, I have a report to, to look at and say, well, this is how we did, this is how we performed, and it gives you really good indicators for the success of that campaign. So within this report, what we're really trying to do is we want to get some site visit trends. We want to look at our recency reports. So for every visit, shows how many visits, how many days it's been since the last visit. For the frequency report, we want to show a histogram for our top visitors, and then a loyalty report of the people coming to our site, how often are they returning? This will then give us a potential size for retargeting pools. And then I just want to get a, a clear look at monthly and year over year trends. So benefits for this, we can clearly define our upcoming campaign KPI. So this way, when we're creating our dashboards, we're creating our reports, we know exactly what we're trying to achieve. We want to understand site interaction by visit recency, frequency, and loyalty. We want to determine historical trends. And we want to figure out if there's any secondary KPIs we're trying to achieve. So let's jump into Adobe Analytics and we'll see how this looks. So now I am in Adobe Analytics. I am looking to create my pre-launch analysis. Like I said, this is the first step I'll do before launching any campaign with the Ad Cloud. So what I have here is just a blank workspace with some raw data. So what this is looking at is the prior three months. So prior three months, how am I doing for unique visitors? Unique visitors might give you a feel for your total retargeting pool. I have my card additions, my conversion rates, my orders, my AOV, with orders being my main KPI. What I want to start to do is I want to build out my visit pools. So what I can do is I can create a free form and resize it. And I want to take a look at the days since last visit. So I have same day, one to five days, six to 10 days, 21 to 50 days, and 10 to 20 days. I can stick it in here. And I want to see, is there a pattern for how people visit the site and does the conversion rates change? I can do the conversion rates. I can do the revenue per order. So now I have my segments by conversion rates and AOV. I can start to visualize this. So let me visualize this with a bar graph. I can change the display to dual axes and then lock this and hide the data. The next one's actually a lot easier. It's just a histogram. So let me take the histogram chart, stick it here, I'm gonna resize it so it's underneath. And I just wanna take my visits, I wanna build that. And then the cohort analysis. This one is another easy one. I wanna build my cohort, resize it. And with the cohort, basically I'm looking to include a inclusion population and then a return population. So of the visits, I just wanna say visits to visits, of people who visit my site, are they coming back month over month? So I can build this. So now I have three simple analyses that take a look at my visit retention rates, my loyalties, and my frequencies. From here, I wanna to start to build out maybe some summary numbers to just get a feel for my total pools and how we've been trending out. So this is just taking my raw data 
and starting to visualize it. So I want to take my total unique visitors and I want to visualize it as a summary number. So this is a good baseline for my retargeting pool for first party data. About 224,000 people have come to my site over the last three months and this is a pool I can start to retarget off of. So I can lock this. And then what I did here is, so let me do this again. I actually wanted to take a look at how we were performing the prior three months. So it's as simple as right clicking on unique visitors. I want to add a time period for the prior three months to this date range. It's going to build it out for me automatically. So what I can do is I want to say, well, what's the change in that? So I can take these two, I can visualize it with a summary change. And I can see that my unique visitor actually up 62% over that time range. So I keep going over that process. I can change the card additions to looking at the same thing in terms of the prior three months and I can start to visualize it. So by the end of this process, I'll have something that looks like this. I will have my recency reports, my frequency report, my cohort table. I will have my first party retargeting pools. I will have my, my secondary KPIs along with my primary KPIs and how those have been performing for the prior time range. Typically with this, you might want to do a year over year as well. So what were we doing at the same period last year over the flight? And then I could take a look at the conversion rates. So are there any weird dips or spikes in the conversion rates from the, the light blue line, which would be the prior, and then the dark blue line, which would be what we're doing currently. In summary, what we did today is we created a base foundation for data activation. Before we even launched the campaign, we used Adobe Analytics to determine what success actually looks like and how we might be able to get there. We determined our primary and secondary KPIs. And this way, by the end of the campaign, when you're looking back to see how you did, you can actually reference this report to see, well, was there any lift when my campaigns were live? Did I see any improvements on my site activity because campaigns were running. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys again soon.